We first met Stephen Kavma in 2020 after the 2019 UCE results were released. His was an astonishing story because he was born with incomplete limbs, but he had scored aggregate 19, which was a surprise. Kavma continued to senior five, and last year he was one of the candidates who sat for senior six exams and got 14 points from physics, economics, mathematics, and ICT. However, this time, performing well wasn't plain sailing. Spent one year without st studying. So when we came from COVID to school, we had forgotten a lot of things. Uh, we had to to master the content, we had to copy the work. So, and even we had just just one year in senior six, so there was a lot of hard issue. He's hoping to attain a degree at Makere University. I want to do a course called civil engineering at Makere University. Throughout his education life, Kavma has been relying on kind-hearted people and now worries how he will manage to go through university. Uh, there, there may be maybe shortage of funds. Mm, the shortage of funds, maybe buying the requirements, uh, tuition, maybe such things. Computer literacy is key for a university student and we thought that Kavma had no idea about it. Surprisingly, he even demonstrated to us that nothing stands in his way to become an engineer. And I can use these computers very well, very perfect. However, the only change may be, it may be uh, to print maybe three buttons at once. In such cases, but these are two buttons, one button, that one has no problem, I can type. The head teacher of St. Elizabeth Nkowe, Frank Cheyune, narrated how Kavma has always stood out of the crowd. So the teachers encouraged him always and always. They called him engineer even before. When it came to, uh, to class discussions, they could always tell him to come forward and discuss. And he could always do it very well. He dreams of building a school to help special needs learners attain a comfortable education life. Solomon Kawesa, NTV.